All right, guys, I've pulled all the buttons off of the control panel, and now I'm just going through and scraping all this lovely stuff off. It's coming off pretty easily. All right, the top face is done. Just gotta do bottom part right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up. All right, it's all stripped of the original control panel. It actually all came off really easily, which is kind of nice. Uh, but now I'm gonna go ahead and get a vinegar bath this thing ready along with some other parts I'm gonna throw in there and just gonna let this soak overnight and we'll see how it turns out and we'll go from there, but It is pretty solid. So if we look at the back I mean it is solid on the back, which is good. So there's nothing. It's all just surface rust So that should clean up pretty nicely anyway when we're all done. All right, so here's my gallon jug of white vinegar, and I've put everything into a big Tupperware container that I'm gonna let this soak in for overnight and through the day tomorrow. I probably won't have enough of this gallon jug of white vinegar, but I'll, you know, flip it in the morning if I need to, just to take advantage of what's in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and dump some in and, uh, We'll see what it looks like in the morning. So let's get a good look at this. So I've got lots of surface rust in there. I've also got some of the Sega Turbo parts behind it. And there is something underneath it too that I'm gonna soak as well. There we go. So let's take a good look at that. All right. Even some surface rust up on that front edge too. So there you go. Let's see how it does. Let me go ahead and open that vinegar and pour it in. All right, here comes some vinegar. All right, so that's a gallon's worth, which is not quite enough. So I'm actually gonna flip this over right now and uh, go from there. But man, does that smell like vinegar. My wife's gonna be happy in the morning when she comes in here. Woo! Okay, so I've gone ahead and put more of these brackets and such into this vinegar bath that I found at the bottom of the cabinet. I'm about to vacuum it out. I was going ahead and digging around the inside of this cabinet and I thought I had found some trash. Well. I did, there's a peanut butter cup wrapper back there and definitely some trash sitting at the bottom of this cabinet. But this piece of paper or cardboard here I thought was trash as well. I think it is now, but this is actually the leftover pieces to the original monitor bezel that was in this track and field. So I started looking around and lo and behold, that cardboard piece right there is also part of the bezel and there is one on the other side. So that kind of gives me a clue as to how this was installed. So I'm gonna actually take some pictures of this and document that, but let's go ahead and pull out that monitor bezel down there real quick. So here we go. So there it is, there's part of it, and let's see, so we've got, this bottom portion is missing. I'll take a look inside the cabinet, see if we can find it. Um, let's see, we put some tape and stuff here. Maybe I can find tape residue somewhere that was on the, you know, maybe somewhere in the cabinet, and. We'll go from there, but 
that might help me out as far as trying to install that monitor bezel and well, we'll go from there but I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the inside of this cabinet now and clean it up a little bit here is the control panel for the tractor field I've pulled out a bunch of other parts and kind of scrubbed them off this is the biggest one with a lot of surface rust on it uh, I turned it this morning so that I could get that side soaked as well so I soaked that side for a few hours but definitely not as much as the front and I just kind of put it back over I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna start giving it a light scrub and we'll see what happens so let's just flip it over and see what it looks like all right so there we go that's that's it so I'm gonna start scrubbing it and we'll see how it goes I'm gonna pull this out real quick and we'll go from there all right, here's that control panel. Let's see if uh, that vinegar did anything. So I'm just kind of going over the entire thing with a wire brush and I've got a scotch bright pad I can, I can hit it with too. Go rinse this brush real quick in the vinegar. This section is just really rough. I can feel it. All right, let's go ahead and put it back into the vinegar and rinse this crap off. All right, here it is. I'll go ahead and flip it over and rinse it. Hey, look at that. All right, so. Give it another quick rinse and we'll go back over it, maybe with that scotch bright pad. Well, would you look at that? That actually that did a pretty nice job. If I say so myself, or just kind of letting it sit, I mean, uh, normally what I do is I hit everything with a wire wheel and just take care of it right then and there. I didn't have the time to do that. I've got a kid, so this is perfect for an overnight sitting. Um, but let's take a quick look and see if we can look at it a little bit closer. All right, so if we look up here, this is where it was really bad. Um, this is the really heavy stuff and you can kind of see that it it did etch itself into the metal a little bit but I think we won't even notice it once we put a control panel overlay on it I mean it does have a little bit of you know, scarring or pitting but overall I mean this thing cleaned up really well it sat in that vinegar for let's see I put it in last night at about nine o'clock ten o'clock and it sat on that face for at least 12 hours before I flipped it over and then did the other side for just a few. So this is, you know, maybe 12 hours worth of sitting in vinegar. The uh, other side, which I'm about to try to scrape off, maybe only sat in it. Let's see, I flipped it over at 9 and it's about, I don't know, a little after 1 or 2. So sat in there for like another 4 hours. So. Let's go ahead and start scrubbing the other side and see how that comes out. I mean, there's still a couple things in here that are cleaning up really easily. It just needs to be wiped off, I think. Yeah. That stuff's all coming up. I might hit some of this harder stuff with the wire wheel, but that's looking pretty good. So there we go, let's go ahead and flip it over and do the other side. Now this face probably only sat in the vinegar for about four hours, so I don't know how well it'll come up. All 
Okay, let's go ahead and rinse it. Look at that lovely vinegar. It's disgusting, the orange, but it's still working for rinses. Okay. How's it look? Hey, not too bad. That came out okay. Um, wasn't as easy to scrub. And there's still a couple things there, but overall, we're looking okay. So let's give it a little rinse. And try to do the bottom edge here. All right, let's take a look at that. And it just comes right off. Okay, let's take it out and go from here. All right, so next I'm just gonna hit this real quick with a wire cut brush. This is a three inch one. I'm just gonna go through and lightly hit this so I've got a nice clean surface for the paint to stick to. And then I'm gonna get some paint on this as soon as possible so I don't have any further rust. All right, so I've gone ahead and put on the first coat of black paint, just under the brackets and stuff. Um, I did the bottom side first, so if anything happens there, I can kind of see what, how it goes before I do the top. So there we go. First coat of paint's on. I'm gonna do a couple more. I'll flip it over and I'll show you guys when it's all done. So hiding behind the Sega Turbo are the brackets and control panel overlay. They got painted and we'll pull those out once the overlay comes in but anyway so i put the cabinet on its side i know i've got some bondo work to do um i'm going to cl start cleaning up the sides i'm not going to show how to do bondo work that's kind of boring to watch but anyway um so i've got those metal corner pieces on i've already loosened the screws and we've got this bottom edge to take care of here and sometimes what happens is these brackets are hiding something so we're going to take a look to see if they're hiding anything. Um, hopefully nothing too bad. But let's go ahead and pull off the front corner. You know they're usually put there for a reason. So let's... Ah, so this is missing that corner. So luckily it's just a nice 90 degree corner. We can compare it to the other side, which is good. It doesn't have a, round, uh, a rounded edge on it or anything, so that should be pretty easy to take care of. But you know, it's, let's see if we can get under there. It's, uh, it's chewed up. Definitely chewed up. So we'll take care of that. We'll fix that. Let's go to the back. Ooh. All right. Well, this one has most of the shape there, but, uh, it's missing half of, it looks like actually it broke off where the T molding was. So from the T molding, up needs to be built back up again so we'll go ahead and do some bondo repair there and i wasn't gonna hit the back edge but you know what since i i, I might hit it i don't know i like to sometimes leave the back um because nobody sees it, it saves time and it kind of gives you an idea of where it came from before it got cleaned up and restored so I don't know, it's one of those personal preference things. We'll see where it goes. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these sides and start putting some Bondo down and building the, and repairing those corners and we'll go from there. But otherwise, I pulled off the T-molding and all this stuff is nice and straight. And even the back, I mean, I've got a couple little, little nicks here. Um, but honestly, this is this back edge is really good. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And uh, once I get some of that stuff down, I'll keep you guys updated. But this probably will wrap up this video for the most part, and uh, we'll keep going and I'll keep you guys updated as we get there. Thanks a lot.